To go along with this new Windows 8 operating system, Microsoft is also releasing the new Microsoft Office Productivity Suite, which takes advantage of some of the touch capabilities as well as in some enhanced sharing capabilities too. Uh, we're going to take a quick walk through the new Microsoft Office and show you how it works, what we like, and what we don't. So starting off, uh, Microsoft was kind enough to send us this tablet. Um, if we go through Office 365, it's, it's sort of the hub with which everything gets shared. Um, it's very collaborative in nature. So you, you start off with a screen like this, and up top there's a few icons for Outlook, your calendar, people, and so forth. Going to Newsfeed is sort of, one, I guess, the hub, if you will. Um, this, you can uh, find friends or co uh, other collaborators in your office and see what they're up to. You can follow them much like you can on Facebook. Not only people, but as well as documents and sites. Um, so this time, this way, if there's ever a change made to a document or something like that, you're going to notify. It's going to be notify you here. Um, there's not much going on right now um, because it is fairly new. But rest assured, this would be populated with um, what our friends are up to. Uh, sites is another uh, aspect of this too. If you have a team working on a group of documents, you can create a team site where you, where you can keep everything in one place and work on it in a collaborative nature. So if we go to, say, here, for example, this team site for, it was actually for the Microsoft Office suite here, you can see all the different documents here, little folders and things like that. If you open it, you can see all the photos here, and everyone else who is sharing this folder who is, these, who is able to look at it can also see the same things and edit them as well. Um, if we go into then the regular apps, you'll also see a number of changes. We'll use Word in, as an example. So when you open up Word now, you're presented with, an, with a bunch of different templates you can use uh, to get started right away. Uh, this is supposed to help newbies and, and first-time users if they're not sure of what to do. We'll just take a blank document. And as you can see, here's the on-screen keyboard. It was fairly comfortable to type on, but could be better. So here's a look at what Microsoft Word looks like now. You'll see the interface up top has changed a lot from uh, previous versions, and uh, it's similar throughout all the other Office applications as well. Uh, the, the top, you can see here, uh, is kind of grayed out, which is all right. Um, but we wish we, they'd use a darker color. It's a lot more minimalist in style than in the past, if you will. Uh, one little neat feature here is there's a little blue icon here, which lets you activate touch mode. So when you press it, you can see it's a little bit hard to do. The icons themselves get a little bit larger, so it's easier to use your finger. We're not sure how useful it's going to be. It's, you know, they only increase slightly. so. The uh, it's still you know some a little bit tricky to uh, get things as you can see, I'm accessing the different menu items fairly well, but I'm not sure how useful touch mode is going to be. Um, all, all in all, it's a fairly nice you know working environment. The other thing that we found a little bit jarring is if you go to save a document by pressing on the little icon up here. Oops, excuse me. By pressing file here it pops a completely different uh, window open instead of just a little uh, drop-down menu like you had before. I found this a little bit jarring, um, and it's going to take some, use, some getting used to. However, in this environment, you can also save to different things, such as your SkyDrive or the local computer. Um, Microsoft is really sort of encouraging people to save things to the cloud so you can share them with other people and access them anywhere as well. And if we go over to Outlook, we'll pop this open here, you'll see this interface has changed a bit as well. And we, there's a few things that we did like about this. Um, for one, you can now, on the side here, pop up, say, your calendar. And there's a little, a little pop-up menu here, which is nice. It shows you, hey, nothing's scheduled for today. Another nice thing. Uh, is that it shows you the weather for the next few days right above it. And then we're going back to 
a list of emails. Um, you can also see uh, if you have a certain person selected, um, you can also link their contact here to say their Facebook um, account or, or Skype or what have you. And in fact, there's a little little menu box that will show up here, giving you several different options to connect to them via email or Skype or if you even calling them or instant messaging. It's a nice little feature that um, is also persistent throughout all the different um, office office uh, applications. So you can really reach people in a number of different ways, however they might like to be reached. So this here too also has a little touch button here, if you can actually reach it. And that's another thing you know, throughout the different documents that works well. Once again, file here also pops you into a different screen, also somewhat a little bit jarring. If you can see up in the little corner here, there's also a little smiley face and a little frowny face. Um, and those are used so if you want to send feedback to Microsoft, you can just click on that and send them a note about and something that you liked or didn't like. It's a nice little thing. We'll see how, uh, how well it's used and implemented. So all throughout um, Office, there's a lot of different little features like that. But the main things are that there's enhanced sharing capabilities, which is what Microsoft is really stressing with this. Um, in many ways, they're trying to rival or exceed uh, Google Drive, for example, and be able to collaborate with multiple people at the same time on a number of different documents. So all in all, we look forward to seeing Office uh, when it comes out this fall. Uh, my name is Mike Prospero, and this is Laptop Magazine. <laughs>